Hey guys, so I had an interesting conversation recently with someone on Discord where they want to sell these lights individually or offer um, a, a package of them, right? Two, six or ten pieces. And they don't want to use variants. I think many of you will not want to use variants for this because that makes it like a different item in the inventory, a different SKU or whatever. Maybe you want to track just that product that is sold individually and you also want to sell it for different quantities. So in other words, that is a bundle. And I've spoken about the Shopify bundles app before, I think when it was just released as a way to group different products, right? As you can see on the icon itself or here, you can group different products that are kind of related to create a bundle. But I think what many people don't realize, it's not so obvious uh, that you can create a bundle of one product. And so that's an easy way for you to do these quantity discounts as uh, is shown here. So let me demonstrate how that works. And by the way, this app is released by Shopify and it's almost like a native kind of addition to Shopify itself. This person on Discord was a little bit worried about um, the app affecting the speed of their store or their SEO. And that's not an issue. This is basically an app that works on the back end, like on the admin, but it doesn't really load anything on the actual website. So it's not going to be uh, an issue to do with speed or anything like that. So you can simply install this app from the app store. It's called Shopify bundles, and I'm going to create a bundle. I'll just select a product for now. We're going to select this shampoo bottle. And basically, let's make it so you can buy an individual bottle or you can buy two, four or eight. Right. So let's select that. And then here is how you would use the app. Usually you'd select another product that you want to like package it with and that product would appear here. Yeah, but we're actually not going to do that. We have just our one product. We click here and say, add quantity as an option. Okay, and so now we can set that up. So we have a quantity of one, we have a quantity of two. Let's make this four and we'll just call it four. And let's make this eight and something's wrong with this. So I'll just type eight and we don't want that anyway. So done one, two, four and eight. Give it a name. So I'll call it a shampoo bundle. Save and continue. And as you can see, all this app does is it creates a new product. So this is like a normal product admin page, except the difference is this little section here, bundled products, and it shows you the products that you have bundled. And then here we have the costs of each one of these variants, like they're not really variants, but it sets these up as variants. Um, you'll see that they're not real variants because when you buy them, I'll demonstrate when you buy them, then the the stock of this original product goes down. So this product doesn't have stock in itself. This product has stock, which is what we want, right? Which is like what I explained at the start of this video. Um, so you can easily make discounts here. So let's say that one is 14, the regular price, two will be 25. This will be like 50 and this will be like 100 for eight. Yeah. Does that make sense? Let's save that. I'm just going to add an image as well. Otherwise, this is going to look a little bit weird. Uh, when we look at this bundle product page. Okay, so the image is added, the prices are changed. And let's see what that looks like. And there we have a shampoo bundle. And these look exactly like variants, don't they? Um, hang on, let me change that to dollars. So you can see the proper prices that I set. So 25 for two, 50 for four and 100 for eight. So it looks exactly like variants. But this is actually a bundle of the original product. And to demonstrate that I'm going to show you the original product, the shampoo for men, as you can see, we have, what is it 44 in stock, right. And when I add uh, four to cart, you'll see that there will be 40 left after I check out that is, let's check out, we have four items. And as you can see, you you can see how it is in the checkout as well. We have the bundle and the original product, which is inside that bundle Four of these, I have the bogus payments gateway enabled 
If you haven't used this before, you can enable it in settings, payments, the card number is one, security code 111, expiry date, any date in the future, and any name as well. Pay now. Uh, this is just an app I installed called Recart, I think, that has these offers. You can ignore that. But let's refresh this product now. This is the original product, not the bundle. And you'll see that it's taken stock away from our original product. And so your inventory, your, your quantities, it's all in sync, it's all organized. You didn't need to mess anything up by creating additional variants uh, on this product. One last thing that I almost forgot is that now you have like two products, right? So here on your collection page, you'll see that you have your original product here. And then we have, I've just renamed it here on Shampoo Bundle, you know, the new one that we created here, but we don't want, like that's kind of confusing, right? We don't want customers to see both of them. We want this one to completely replace that product. And so to be honest, I'm not sure about the exact best way uh, to handle this, but I think that you can simply remove the original product from all sales channels and save and it's still going to work inside the bundle and you're still going to be able to purchase it through the bundle product but if i refresh now that original product it's gone from my store whereas you know we can still buy it here i literally just tested it now i'm not going to re-record that but it still works and then finally one other tip is that if you don't want this to say quantity like I just realized this is a bit confusing for the customer maybe uh, that this says quantity and this says quantity and they're like, so how many am I buying? And I'm buying like, they're buying one pack of four basically. So you might wanna call this pack size. And so let's do that by editing the bundle. And when we go here to edit, edit quantities and you'll see you can change the heading to like pack size or something like that. And you know, that's gonna, it's gonna make more sense, right? So they're, now they're buying a, a four pack or an eight pack or something like that, yeah. So that, that's it, that's the video, Shopify bundles app. Try it out if you wanna do these quantity discounts. See you next time, guys.